Hello guys, welcome to my tutorials corner. My name is Abhay and this is part 19 of WPF tutorials video series. In this video, we are going to learn about the date picker control in WPF. The date picker control comes up with a text box and a button next to it. When we click on this button, a calendar control pops up where we can choose the desired date. So let's look at this with an example. Let's open up the Visual Studio. To create the date picker control, simply type date picker and this should create a date picker control. You can see here this is displaying a date picker. First of all, let's run this and understand that what is the date picker. You can see there is a button next to this text box. When we will click on this button, this is going to display a calendar control in pop-up. And when we will select any date from this calendar control, this is going to put this date inside this text box. Let's click on the 6th of October and you can see the date is placed inside this text box. Okay. Let's talk about the properties of this date picker. The very first is display date. Display date shows the date as selected which we have specified inside this property. By default, this property is set to the date which is today. Okay, so if we will run this, this is going to show the to date as selected date. You can see this is displaying the system as selected as of this recording the date is 16th of October and this is displaying this 16th of October as selected you can see there is a blue line here so this is indicating the display date if we will change this to anything else let's change this to 14th of October So this should display the 14th of October as selected. Let's run this and click here. You can see the blue line here on the 14th of October. So that's the display date. Let's talk about the next property that is, is drop down open. Actually, this property determines the state of the calendar control that either this is open or this is in closed state by default this property is set to false you can see there is no calendar control here this is not displaying any calendar control and if we will set this to true this is going to display the calendar control. Let's run this and you can see the calendar control inside the pop-up is in open state. When we will click on the button, this is going to be hidden. And when we will click on this, this is going to be in open state. So that's the each drop down open property the next property is the blackout dates I will strongly recommend you to watch part 18 to learn about the blackout dates I have discussed a lot about the blackout dates the only difference between the date picker control and the calendar control blackout dates is that we have to use the date picker instead of this calendar okay so that's the one difference and the rest are the same we, you can specify the collection of date range here similarly like the date picker control the next property is display date start display date end i have also discussed about these properties but let's talk about this in this video too display date end and display date start properties 
determines that which range you are going to show on the calendar let's say I want to display only the dates between 14th of October to 25th of October so to set that simply type display date start and set this to 14th of October and display date end to 25th of October the date is MMDD YYY format so don't confuse with that let's start this and click here and you can see the output as expected this is displaying the dates from 14th of October to 25th of October so that's the display date start and display date end properties you can control the dates that which range you want to display on the calendar control okay the next properties are the first day of week and each today highlighted the first day of week determines that which date is going to come first on the calendar control okay and the each today highlighted shows that the today's date is highlighted or not if I will set this to is today highlighted by default this is set to 2 and if I will set this to false this is going to unmark the highlighted from the today's date you can see there is no highlighted there is no date highlighted here okay if I will set this to true this is going to highlight the today's date you can see the 16th is highlighted here so that's the is highlighted property we have already discussed about the first day of week you can find the, the resources here this is my blog where I put my code you can find the code in case if you want so that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching have a great day